Hello, welcome to lesson 30, Usage of Delegates, part 1, brought to you by Ankpro Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn the actual usage of delegates. Before doing that, we will just recall in the previous session what we learned about delegates. In the previous session, we learned how to create a delegate and also we learned how to invoke methods using the delegate reference. Right now, we will just see key points of delegate. Delegate is an object that can refer to a method. The method can be called through the delegate reference. And keep in mind the same delegate can be used to call different methods during the runtime. The method that will be invoked by a delegate is not determined at compile time but rather at the runtime. The method invoking at runtime is the principal advantage of the delegate. This is the most important point of a delegate. The method invoking at the runtime is the principal and key advantage of the delegate. And in the last sentence you can see we can use delegates with static methods and instance methods. To understand that what we'll do is we'll jump into Visual Studio and explore that. Right now I'm jump into Visual Studio and in this demo what I'm going to show you is where actually the usage of delegates come into existence and in the next session we'll see how delegate overcome overcome the issues which which were facing in the real world examples right now what we'll do is we'll just see how the usage of delegates come into existence in the scenario what i'm showing now what i'm going to show now what i'll do is i'll just create a class of student Okay. Once I'm done that, student will be having some properties. So I'll add like to add int. Uh, first property is ID. Age. String. Name. Then he'll bring marks. marks and I'll take the other property like performance okay now I'm having set of properties here and and what I'm going to hide now is I'll, I would like to add a method okay public all right the method name is promote student okay I added a method called promote student. What this method does is this method will take a set of instructions, a set of piece of code, and what what this method is going to do is this method is going to promote a student based on the marks what he has scored. So in order to do that, I have to pass a parameter or a list of students as a parameter to that method. So what I'll do is I'll just create a list of students. List of student then I'll create a variable of it that is student list okay now once I'm having that student list uh, what this method should do it should that method should iterate through that list uh, and it has to uh, select the students whose marks is less greater than or equal to 300 so I would write a condition for that what I'll do is I'll use for each loop to do that work to loop that to loop through that list so it's of type student and it is uh, item or variable it can be like to list student list itself or I'll take it as just student st sorry for that I'll take it as just student itself st u d e n t okay sorry for the spelling mistake student okay and the collection name is student list what I'll do I'll just copy this okay control V okay what what does this for each loop does is it the student list what we are having here it will be present in this student list collection and this collection will iterate and it will pass to a variable called student and that student will have multiple iterations because of for each loop and it will uh, filter the number of students whose marks is greater than or equal to 300 so I have to use if, if loop here to do that work okay if uh, 
student dot marks greater than or equal to 300 print that that particular student is able to qualify is, is promoted to next higher studies so what I'll do is I'll use student dot and name and this guy okay promoted to next section promoted to higher studies okay and it should be having like this okay since understood this method what it does is it will take a list of students as a parameter and for each loop will iterate that through that student list and it will filter the students whose marks is less than or equal to greater than or equal to 300 so what I'll do is since I passed a list here list of student I have to go and create in the main method the list of students I have to add few dummy students so what I have to do is I have to create a list of students for that student new is equal to sorry student variable I have to create a variable to list is equal to new list of student okay now what I'll do is to list dot I have to add a list of students so what I'll do is I'll use new keyword student then here I can access the student properties now first thing I'm going to add ID ID is 101 sorry and next property is the age age is something like 20 next is name I have to add name for that okay name is Mary similarly what is the next marks okay I'll assign the marks as sorry marks is 350 and performance good to specify the semicolon at the end what I'll do is I'll just copy this and I would like to add a set of students for that so what I'll do is I'll just rename it 102 or 3 or not 6 sorry not 3 not 4 not 5 I'll just remove this it's enough I guess okay now what I'll do is okay now I'm having a set of students I have to rename them rename them the age will be like uh, 22 19 23 and 20 itself okay I have to rename the name also Ramu I missed the string here, it's throwing error, Ramu, Ravi, Khan, and Sam, okay, I have to change the marks also, I'll give him 200, I'll give him 450, 650, and this is only 260 okay now I'm having a list of students ready now what I have to do is I have to call this method this promote method in my main method how do I call it using the student sorry in the student class then 
I want to access this method. Now I want to access this promote method. Now I'll jump back into Visual Studio. I want to show you, show you some important thing. Here you can observe we can use delegates with the static methods and the instance method. In the previous sessions we learned how to invoke a static method and instance method. Right now we'll jump into Visual Studio and we'll explore it. And you can observe this method is instance method. If I want to actually invoke this promote student in my main, main method, what I have to do is first I have to create an object of this class that is student s is equal to new student okay now what I do is I have to invoke this method using this dot operator using that variable object reference variable less then I have to use dot operator to access this method as you saw now now I have to go going to pass the student list now this is how since this is a st instance method what I have to do is I have to create an object of this class first then using that object reference variable then I have to invoke this method since it is an instance method but if it is a static method I'll just comment this if it is a static method what I have to do if it is static methods it's very if it is static of type what I have to do if it can be it's very simple just come and add a keyword called static it's finished then if it is a static method it's very simple I have to invoke that method just by calling the class name student when you use a dot operator you can access that method promote student very easily if it is a static method and here we saw how to invoke a static method as well as the instance method and delegate is having that capacity too now when I run this program what it does is it just filter the students whose marks is greater than or equal to 300 yes it has given now what I'll do will just go and cross verify it now here I've written the condition that give me a list of students whose marks is greater than or equal to 300 now we'll just go to list and evaluate whether it has given us the correct output now what I'll do is I'll come here and we'll see the marks of Mary Mary marks is 350 yes it is greater than or equal to 300 and Ravi where is Ravi here and its marks is greater than or equal to 300 yes it's true it has promoted to higher studies and Khan its marks is greater than or equal to 300 yes it's printed on the console screen now it worked fine what I'm going to do now is what I'm now we'll see how the actual usage of delegates come into existence here now if I want to make this class as reusable this class student if I want to make this class as reusable now keep in mind if any other school is going to promote student not based only on the marks but also based on the performance then at the time that set of people if they are going to use this class as the logic to them they have to hard code the hard code the sentences hard code the values again but since we are talking of the of making this class as reusable whoever taking this class as a plugin to that plugin to their framework what they have to do is they have to again hard code these values but it's not a good practice yes it is not it's working code but it will not that efficient code so in order to make this class as reusable what we'll do is <coughs> will make this class the entire class itself as a parameter to other method so and that is possible only with the help of delegates so if you want to make or if you want to pass this method itself as a parameter to other method then we have to use delegates explicitly that is the usage of delegates right now we just saw how the usage of delegates come into existence in the coming session we'll see how to make this class as reusable using the delegates itself thank you for listening we'll jump back into prison thank you for listening please subscribe to ankro training below have a great day